Hello lovelies, I'm Angela. This is Parisian Farm Girl. Welcome to my channel. If you never have, would you take a moment and please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. That means so much to me. Now to those of you that made last week's Old World Farmhouse Tour a huge success, I thank you. Merci. That means so much to me. A lot of you reached out about the bedroom, about the wall color, about the bed in particular. And so this week I thought it would be fun to share with you four ways to dress your bed. Now my first impulse was to go out and go thrifting. Oh, I need new throw pillows. I need some new blankets. But I'm going to show them what to do. But then I thought it would be much more genuine if I just stayed in the house and went around to different rooms and gathered different pillows gather different swatches of fabric, different blankets, to show you how you can just easily change the look of your bed with the seasons or with your own particular vibe. I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate you being here, and I think you're going to really enjoy this. If we're going to talk about dressing our bed, then we need to talk about the undergarments of our bed. Just like every beautiful dress deserves exquisite undergarments, it's the same with our bedding. I have such a fondness for vintage linens. I always have. My great grandmother used to mend them to earn extra income. I love the weave of the fabric. I love how long they last, the coolness of the fabric, but I've always struggled to find sheets that complemented my vintage linens collection. That is until earlier this year when I discovered a company called American Blossom Linens. I've been so blessed to get to know the owner of the company and have a chance to fall in love with what they offer. These are Texas homegrown organic cotton sheets. So I love that I'm not shopping overseas for my bedding anymore, that it's grown right here in the United States. And the idea is that you buy these sheets once and they become a family heirloom. They are designed to last a lifetime and they go perfect with my vintage linens collection. So if you would like to try some American Blossom Linens, I do have a coupon code in the description. Janet gave me a coupon code for the Parisian Farm Girl audience, which I think is fantastic. I'm sure you will love them as much as I love mine. So this is how I begin to dress my bed with my vintage linens and my American Blossom Linens, which are like modern vintage sheets. Here in Wisconsin, our winter evenings get very, very cold, and so I pile as many blankets as I can on my bed. For some of us, having all that extra weight is very, very comforting. This is one of my favorite blankets. I think I got it on Amazon, so I will try to put a link in the description, 
But don't be afraid to shop your thrift stores, shop your mom's hand-me-downs, whatever you need to do to add that extra weight to your bed and just simply cover it with your duvet or with your coverlet and no one will be any the wiser and you'll have all that comforting goodness when you tuck in at the end of the day. As I am building my bed and putting all the layers on so I can stay nice and cozy this winter, this is a I guess it's a Matt Lazay-esque uh, coverlet that I got at the thrift shop. I love it. It weighs a ton. It's nice and neutral, so I can alternate it with the blanket that I'm about to show you that I got at Kohl's years ago. This is a little bit more of a neutral color, while that one is more pink. And that's what I want to talk about today a little bit, is just keeping that in mind that a lot of times we're sharing our bedrooms with our spouse and so maybe we don't want it to be an explosion of pink maybe we want to have alternatives to choose from this is one of my favorites it's extremely comforting it's very beautiful and it was just about $12 at the thrift shop so keep your eye out never settle when you're thrifting when you're looking for bedding but if you see something that looks like a really good quality Go ahead and pick it up if it's a good price point. If you get home and it doesn't work, then you can just send it right back. What I'm going to do with the Mount Lasse and all the extra blankets to stay warm this winter and my favorite American Blossom linens is I'm just gonna bring the bed down to its basic form and then I'm going to show you couple looks that you can maybe draw some inspiration from to dress your own bed. The first look I want to share with you is a Paris apartment inspired look. I did purchase that bolster pillowcase at one of the Parisian flea markets, but the look here is a lot of different fabrics, needlepoint, tassels, pillows in different shapes, and very glamorous. So this is another Matt Lise coverlet that I got at Kohl's years ago, probably 12 years ago, in fact right before Amélie was born. It's so beautiful, it's a very pale pink. And sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use it to cover the whole bed and sometimes like today for my Paris apartment look, I'm just going to use it to drape across the end. And that's something I do all the time is I, I'll drape a blanket on the end or I'll drape even a curtain or a swatch of fabric across the end of the bed just to change the look of it a little bit. Look number two is a classic French country look. So I'm going to take out some of the shinier pillows and bring in some more hardy textiles. These woven pillows have sort of a muslin type fabric and the little floral pillow is actually the first thing that I ever sewed. Bringing the wicker tray in adds another element of that country feel, a little crochet doily. And I found this big swatch of fabric a couple weeks ago at a thrift shop. I thought it was so beautiful. And it reminded me of old school Charles Faudry French country. So I thought it would be the perfect fabric to drape over the edge of the bed. Of course, to further this look, you could add a little bit more gingham, maybe some more toile. I was just working with what I had to give you an example of a French country look. Now many of us are sharing our bedroom 
with a gentleman. So look number three involves some masculine touches. Now, while it would be so fun to go out and buy some big, gorgeous, sexy Euro shams, again, I'm working with what I have, so I'm going to keep those woven pillows, add some brown. I went into Aiden's bedroom and stole the quilt off of his bed, just for this example because it's a cream and beige small plaid print and I thought that would add a little bit more of a masculine element and a brown throw blanket for the end of the bed and then I just went around the house and I grabbed some old brown books a little wooden chocolates box and some corn husk duck decoys a little log cabin just a few things to give it a more masculine look. And I'm kicking myself. What I could have done is take down that beautiful print that I use as my headboard and put up a big wooden framed mirror. That would have really changed the look. And at the last minute, I decided to throw in some fresh sage because it smelled so fantastic. The fourth and final look is un peu de Noël. I think that we forget to decorate our bedrooms for the holidays. Why not bring some of that cozy atmosphere into the bedroom with some fresh greenery, some little twinkle lights. I went down to the living room and stole a few crazy quilt pillows and pillowcases just to bring in some deeper colors. Went outside, grabbed some greenery, a wicker basket, of course brought in some red with some old red romance books. And I went downstairs and I grabbed this favorite wool blanket as I realized it would match the teal on the walls beautifully and add to that Christmas feeling. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that today you found a little bit of inspiration for your bedroom. Walk around your house, grab some throw pillows, grab an old swatch of fabric or your favorite quilt, and change the mood on your bed. Special thanks to American Blossom Linens. Be sure to check the description for the link and use the coupon code PARISIAN20 to get 20% off your modern vintage sheets. You will love them as much as I love mine. I appreciate you being here. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. A bientôt.